there, it's Stephanie from Gianku, and today I'm going to show you how to set defaults on your Bezier tool in Inkscape. So I'm going to head over to my Bezier tool, going to select it, and I'm going to just start clicking and create some kind of polygon. Now this is what I currently have as a setting. If I bring up my fill and stroke pane um, by selecting shift Control F, I'm using a Mac, um, it might be different on your PC. You can see that in my fill area, um, the middle is black, and the stroke, this outline here, is this bluish green turquoise color, and the stroke style, the width, is 30. So that's currently what I've selected. So now if I go and create another polygon, I'm going to get the same kind of stroke and fill, no matter how many I create. Now let's say I want to change my settings. So right after I created this polygon, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to, let's just change the line width. And let's change the stroke. And let's change the fill. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to create another polygon. So you can see that it's changed the default. And let's say that I didn't want to do that. Let's say that I wanted to maintain the same polygon that I originated with, with the same border size and colors. I can come over to the Bezier tool. I can hold down Command and double click. And this will bring up my Preferences panel. You can see that Last Use Style has been selected, and which means that whatever style you used last it will recreate so when I changed this polygon to this different green and the shade of pinkish purple it said use a style for your next polygon now I'm going to change this to this tool this tool's own style and I'm going to say take from selection so what it did is it just mimicked this selection here, but let's say I want to mimic this selection. So I'm gonna go over to my Select and Transform Object tool, I'm going to select this polygon, and I'm going to say Take from Selection. And what you notice is the fill changes to black and the stroke changes to this green. What I'll do now is when I go back to the Bezier tool, I'm going just to create a random polygon and you'll see that it's created the default. Even if I go over to my fill and stroke panel and I change these colors, so let's change that border to red, let's change the fill to green. Now if I go back to my Bezier tool, it's not going to save these preferences, it's going to use the style that you had set in the window. If you want it to go back, simply just select Last Use Style. And because the last style we used was this black and turquoise, it will create that. So with the Last Use Style selected, we can now go and create polygons and or different kinds of shapes, whatever shapes you'd like. And it's just going to replicate the last style that you created. And that was just a quick overview of how to change the default settings on the Bezier tool. If you'd like to change the default values on tools in Inkscape, you can simply always go to the Preferences panel, and you can access that quickly by selecting Shift, Control, and P. And that'll allow you to tweak the different defaults for all the tools that Inkscape has. What I used in this tutorial was the pen tool, also known as a Bezier. It uses the same tool to create defaults. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you.